Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be discussing about the difference of prime and composite numbers. In my previous lessons, I've discussed about divisibility rules. Okay, and today I will be discussing prime and composite numbers because you will be using or you should know how to identify if a number is prime and composite because we will be using that when we do the prime factorization. Okay, so bago ko o bago ako gagawa ng video about prime factorization, i-discuss ko muna kung ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng prime number sa composite number. Okay? So prime numbers are numbers that has two factors only. So last time inaral din natin or diniskas ko din sa other video ko yung factors and multiples. Okay? So ngayon, sinabing prime numbers, the prime numbers it has only two factors. Okay? It has only two factors. And the factors of a prime number is 1 and the number itself. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pag sinabing two factors, 1 and the number itself, kung ano yung number, ang factors lang niya ay 1 times yung number mismo. Okay? An example of that is 2. 2 is the smallest prime number. Okay? Because 2, ano ba ang factors ng 2? 2 has a factor 1 and 2. Okay? Other than that, wala na siyang ibang factors. Okay? Another is 3. 3 is also a prime number because 3, the factors of 3 is only 1 and 3. Next is 7. Factors of 7 is 1 and 7 also. For 5, it's also 1 and 5. Okay? Another is 11. The factors of 11 is only 1 and 11. Okay? The next is 13 is 1 and 13. And so on and so forth. So, eto, etong mga diniskas ko, eto mga examples ko, eto yung mga common na prime numbers. They are the first six, the first six prime numbers. Okay? So, actually, the prime numbers from 1 to 20, ano yon? Aside from 13, it can also be 17 and 19. Okay? So, because 17, the factor of 17 is only 1 and 17, and 19 is also 1 and 19. Okay? So, ito yung first 8. Okay? First 8 prime numbers. Okay, so yan ang tinatawag nating prime numbers. Ang prime numbers, ang factor lang ng prime numbers ay 1 at yung number mismo. 1 and the number itself. Yung number niya mismo. So, 2, 1 and 2, 5, 1 and 5, 3, 1 and 3, 7, 1 and 7, and so on and so forth. So, yun ang tinatawag nating prime numbers. Now, what about composite numbers? Pag naman sinabi natin composite numbers, the composite numbers they have, it should be two or more factors. Okay? The numbers has two or more factors. When we say two or more factors, hindi lang one at yung number. But instead, meron pa siyang ibang numbers. Okay? Na when you multiply, it gives you the same answer. Like for example, four. 4 is a prime number. Why? What are the factors of 4? It's 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. So, 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 2 is also 4. 
Okay, so what are the factors? It has two factors, the 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. So, ang factors ng 4 is 1, 4, and 2. So, it has three factors. It's more than two. Okay? Another is six. Six also has different factors. Ano yung mga factors ng six? One times six at two times three. Okay? So, one times six is six and two times three is also six. So, ang factors ng six are one, two, three, and six. So, six has four factors. That's why we say that four, six are composite numbers. Okay? Because it has more than two. Okay? It's more than two factors. Okay? Hindi lang siya two. Kundi more than two. Okay, so that's the difference between prime and composite numbers. I repeat, prime numbers, the only factors, it, it, it has only two factors. And that factor is 1 times the number itself, kung ano man yung number na yun. Wherein, pag composite numbers, it has more than two factors. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang 1 at yung number na yun, kundi meron pang ibang number na pwede mong i-multiply or i-divide dyan sa number na yan maliban dun sa 1 at saka sa number. Okay? So, kapag 3 or more na siya, ibig sabihin yung number na yon ay composite number. Okay? So, let us do more examples para mas maintindihan kung ano ang pagkakaiba ng prime number sa composite number. Okay, so here we have to identify if the number is prime or composite. Okay, so 12. 12 is a composite number. Why is it a composite number? Because 12, ano ang factors ng 12? 12 pwede siyang 1 at saka 12 at may, pwede rin siyang 6 times 2 at pwede rin siyang 4 times 3. So, dito pa lang, kahit isa lang yung nalaman mo maliban sa 1 times 12, alam mo na na yung 12 i prime number. Okay? Next, 37. 37 of factors and 37 is only 1 at 37. At dahil doon, 37 is a prime number. Okay? Next, 145. So, 145, using the divisibility rule, it ends in 5. At dahil it ends in 5, ibig sabihin, this is divisible by 5 na. Okay? Aside from that, divisible din siya ng 1 at divisible din siya itself by 145. So, dahil dito, tatlo na kaagad yung factors niya, ibig sabihin, hindi lang 1 at 145 at may ibang number pa pwede siya ma-divide ang 145. Then, we say that 145 is a composite number. Okay? Next, 231. Okay, so 231, if we use the divisibility rule, we can say that 231 is divisible by 3. Bakit siya divisible by 3? It's because when you add that, 2 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 6. And 6 is a multiple of 3. Okay? So, dahil 6 siya, ibig sabihin, multiple of 3 siya, pwede siya ma-divide ng 3. At dahil, since pwede siya ma-divide ng 3, ibig sabihin, 3 is also a factor aside from 1 and aside from 1 to 31. Then, therefore, we say that 231 is also a composite number. I repeat. Unang-unang mong gagawin, 1, pwede siya. Ma-divide ng 1. 231, pwede rin siya. Pero pag once na meron pa siyang ibang number, kahit isa pang number ang pwede ma-divide dito, ibig sabihin composite na siya. At since using the divisibility rule of 3, dahil ang sum nito, is equal to 6 and 6 is also divisible or multiples of 3 then therefore we say that 231 is 
divisible by 3. At dahil doon, composite ang 231. Okay? Next, 11. 11, we know that 11 is one of the first prime number. And so, 11 is a prime number. Okay? Next, 129. Okay, so 129, if we use the divisibility rule, pag in mo yan, 1 plus, 3, 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 9 is equal to 12. And 12 is divisible by 3. Okay, because 12 is a multiple of 3, therefore we say that 129 is a composite number. Kasi... Ang factors nito ay pwedeng 3, pwedeng 1, at pwedeng 129, and so on and so forth. So, pwede pang iba. Okay, kaya siya composite. Next, 51. Is 51 a prime number? Or a composite number? 51 is a composite number. Why? Because, pag ginamit mo ulit yung divisibility rule ng 3, if you add that, 1, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, and 6 is divisible by 3. Multiples of 3 pa rin siya. And since ito ay divisible by 3, again, composite number siya. Kasi hindi lang 1 at hindi 51 ang factors, meron din siyang 3. Okay? Next, 889. 889 is also divisible by... What number? It's divisible by 7. Aside from 1 and aside from 8, 8, 9. At dahil divisible din siya by 7, then therefore we say that 8, 8, 9 is a prime, uh, it's a composite number. Okay? So composite number din at 889. Okay? Kasi pwede rin siyang ma-divide ng 7. And lastly, 83. 83, the factors of 83 is only 1 and 83. At dahil doon, since 1 at 83 lang ang factors niya at wala nang iba, kasi hindi rin siya pwede sa 2, dahil nag i siya sa 3, hindi rin siya pwede sa 0, hindi rin siya pwede sa 5, hindi siya pwede sa 10. Okay, when you add this, it won't give you also a multiple of 3 and multiple of 9. So, therefore, ibig sabihin, 83 is a prime number kasi ang factors lang niya is 1 and 83. Okay? So, that's how we identify if a number is prime or composite. Okay? So, I hope you learned something today. Again, this is Teacher Luis, your mommy tutor. If you have any suggestion or any question or if you want me to discuss other topics or other lesson, feel free to comment below. Bye! Thank you!